What's up everyone? This is Samson with Electric Bike Journal and today we have the Gazelle Ultimate T10 Plus HMB. This is a class three electric bike with pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour. It has the Bosch Performance Line Speed Mid-Drive Motor, which provides 85 newton meters of torque. Integrated into the frame is a 500 watt hour battery that is removable. It does have dual battery capabilities, which potentially could double your range. The display fitted on the left-hand side of the bars is where you can choose between four pedal assist modes of Eco, Tour, Sport, or Turbo. On this display, you can see your speed, the range, an odometer, and a trip meter. This bike comes with a torque sensor, a rotation sensor, and a speed sensor. The torque sensor measures how hard the rider is pedaling to determine how much electric power to push the bike. This bike has an adjustable stem with slightly curved handlebars that have ergonomic hand grips on them. It is equipped with a 10-speed Shimano Dior drivetrain, and it has hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. The wheels are 28-inch Ride Dutch rims with e-bike-specific 1.7-inch wide Schwalbe Energizer Plus tires that have internal puncture protection. The fork is a Suntour Mobi 45 suspension fork with 80 millimeters of travel. On this bike, there's also an integrated headlight and a tail light that you can access from the display. Included with the bike is a rear rack that also has a bungee cord attached to it. A rear wheel lock is built onto the frame that has an option for a plug-in cable to lock to a fixed object. Estimated range on this bike is 55 miles in eco mode and 20 miles in turbo mode. The bike weighs 51.1 pounds and comes in a high step version and a mid step version. This is the mid step version and it comes with a price of $4,199. Let's take you on a ride to show you a little bit of an on bike experience and take you through some of the modes. Here we are on a ride on the Gazelle Ultimate T10 Plus HMB. Right now I'm no pedal assist mode, got a little downhill, so don't really need it. It's got 10 speeds with good gearing, so you can really choose the right gear for what you need. It's got a really nice range to it. Also, the front suspension fork is nice for bumps like we just went over. Well, let's put us in eco mode. Gets us a little more power for sure. This has a torque sensor. So if you are soft pedaling, the motor isn't really gonna go on. So you wanna make sure you're in a good enough gear that you can put some power down to get some use out of that motor. This is nice to have that though, cause it can be a little more efficient. You're not just having your motor on or off. So we've got a little, little downhill still. I'll put it in sport mode. When you go into sport mode, from tour mode, you definitely feel that kick in. I mean, I've had to click up a little bit because it brought me up to a higher speed. Now we're going 25 miles an hour. This bike is stable and 25 miles an hour just really doesn't feel like you're going that fast but 25 is good. Usually the speed limits in most of the cities, can't really beat that if you're gonna be commuting to work and you're on a bike and everyone's in the car. Let's see how it handles on this turn. It's still nice on those turns. But still in sport mode, got me back up to 20 miles an hour pretty quickly from that turn. I dropped around 10, had to downshift a little bit, but you better make sure you downshift and get in the right gear. That way you can get the most out of the motor. You don't want to be overpowering the motor with choosing too hard of a gear. This also has hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. Very smooth, stop you super nice. All right, so I'm gonna downshift a bit since we got a little bit of an uphill. It's still in sport mode, and you can feel the harder you pedal, the more assist it's gonna give you. So I can soften up my pedaling a little bit. Drops me down a couple miles per hour, but when I start to pedal again, it brings me up. I'll turn it into turbo mode here, and it really gets you going. When you're putting that force down from your pedaling, your human power, this bike makes you feel superhuman, kind of. This Bosch Performance Line speed motor is quick. It's 
Got to do another little brake test here at the stop sign. We'll do a hard one. Very smooth. Oh, that person didn't want to wait for us, even though we had a blinking light. Anyways, from that stop, still in servo mode, up to 20, 23 very quickly. And that suspension fork again, really helps with those bumps. All right, so I've got us to a hill right now, zero pedal assist. It's, it's going. We're in the biggest gear and I can, it's, it's some work for sure. So let's get us an eco. And you feel that relief that you want from an electric bike. When you're pedaling, if you don't put much effort down, you definitely aren't gonna get as much use out of it with this, this mid-drive motor with the torque sensor. But Eco, going uphill, you can get going pretty well. So we'll get us into Tour. And that gets us going much quicker. We're going 13 miles an hour with, you know, about a third of the way up in our gears. This hill is not the steepest, but it's a very good hill. And in tour mode, we're conquering this thing with ease. Let's get into sport. Sport, yeah, that's, that's cool. Has a little delay when you shift your gears, which is nice, because it's not gonna overpower, overpower your shift. It has a very tiny delay. So you do hear the motor cut off a little bit, but that's a good thing. But yeah, we got to the top of this hill quick in sport mode. We'll drop down here. You can see how quickly this bike will roll. Now I'm just coasting down this hill. We've already hit 25 miles an hour. 26 and very stable these wheels feel good now we're at 31 got a bump front suspension fork absorbs a lot of that and get to test out these brakes again very smooth stopping so let's take on another hill from the stop started in sport, had to downshift a bit so we can pick the right gear to go up this hill. Now let's turbo it up. Turbo in the lower gears, your legs are moving. So when you shift up, you, you really can feel this bike get up in speed. You don't even need to be in the easiest gear in the back when you're going uphill in turbo mode because the more power you're putting down, the more power the motor is giving you. We are cruising up this hill at 14 miles an hour, and this is a steep one. Some other bikes with lower gearing, or not as big of a gearing range, have issues going up this hill. So this is great. And as we crest this hill, you will feel this motor kick in super quick. So on the flats, to get the most out of that torque sensor and let that motor know you're pedaling more, when you shift to a harder gear, it really picks up. And already back to over 20 miles an hour and just turboing up a hill. We will go down the backside and see how this bike goes at speed on a bumpy hill. I think it's gonna do well. It's handled rolling on many of the streets super good, even when it's got bumps, speed bumps, potholes. 
it's felt really nice. Now, this is definitely one of the steeper hills around, and it is good to see how we can go just coasting down. And I'm gonna I'm gonna guess we're gonna hit over over 30. And I feel comfortable stopping on this with the hydraulic disc brakes. We've already put it to some tests and some stop signs. But let's, uh, we're starting at 20. I turned everything off. And we are going to gain speed really quick. Might be hard to tell, but this is a bumpy road. And we're hitting over 30. I, I hit the brakes because we're going so fast. But you can see that's 33. I'm like going back and forth. Feels has a nice sporty stance to it. That's 34, almost 35. And we're gonna slow down before we get to the end over here. That was, that was quick. 35 miles an hour, it's not bad. I'll give you a little example of getting it into turbo mode and up to 28 miles per hour. Just started soft pedaling eco just to get us moving a little bit, but we'll click that in turbo, shift up a couple gears, and we are at 27 miles an hour, just at 28. It's just so awesome to be able to pick up that fast and get moving with the speed of traffic. It is just such an awesome way to get around town comfortable, fast, especially on a great day like this. Here are some of the things that we liked about the bike. The Bosch Performance Line speed motor is very smooth and quick. The torque sensor does a great job of sensing the amount of pressure that you're putting on the pedals to give you the perfect amount of electric pedal assist. The bike is quick and handles well at speed. In sport or turbo mode, getting up to 28 miles per hour is really easy. The 10-speed drivetrain gives you plenty of options and gears, so you can choose the right gear for the correct pedal efficiency. At speed, this bike handled well and felt very planted. It was super comfortable and smooth, wasn't wobbly at all. The front suspension fork was very welcomed on bumpy streets. It absorbed the bumps really well on the road, and it was definitely stiff enough so you didn't notice it when you were pedaling hard. The integrated lights are nice and bright and are great to have seamlessly integrated onto this bike. The included rack were great for some panniers we added for a grocery run, and adding those panniers made this bike much more versatile. This bike comes with many thoughtful accessories, making it ready for your commute. There are just a few things we thought could be different with the Ultimate T10 Plus HMB. The water bottle cages on this mid-step version are on the top tube right where your crotch would be if you were getting off the bike. This puts it in a bit of an awkward spot and it could get in the way when getting off the bike. Depending on the size of the frame, it seems like it could fit underneath that top tube so it wouldn't be in the way when you're getting on or off the bike. There is no throttle on this bike, so it is all pedal power. If you happen to get to a stop in a higher gear, you will have a harder time to start to get going. So before you get to a stop, make sure you shift down to a gear that is easy enough to get you going. There is no quick release seat post adjustment. If you were to be having this in a household where you'd be using it with multiple people, it wouldn't be as easy to change that seat height. So you would have to use a tool to adjust that. Having a quick release would make this a little easier for multiple people. The Gazelle Ultimate T10 Plus HMB is an awesome bike packed with a lot of accessories from a company with over 130 years of experience. This bike is pretty ideal for someone looking to make that bike commute to work fast and comfortable. From the fast and powerful Bosch Performance Line speed motor to the integrated lights and racks, Gazelle really hit the mark with the Ultimate T10 Plus HMB. If you are looking for a fast and comfortable commuter bike, the Ultimate T10 Plus HMB is a great option. Thanks for watching this video and we look forward to bringing you a lot more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing.